can't take it anymore. Everyone is so mean to me. Uh, can't you call the Prime Minister or something and get me out of here? There's a bloody change when you need it. You know I can't do that, sweetheart. The council would make us pay for the flight. And you know we knew it's never spent our own money. Besides, you're your father's daughter. You're no quitter. But I've never even met Dad. He was a bloody asshole who never quit being a bloody asshole. Mom. Listen, sweetheart, I really gotta go. The bottle shop is having a sale and I wanna get there before they run out of beers, okay? All right, love you. Mom, mom, mom. Mom? A road without a rider. A track without a train. I feel like a paper spin left out in the rain. Oh. Can you feel Can we talk? Pain? So, a docu is all about someone or something? That's so shit hot. I don't think we have those in Australia. Um, I just think it's so shit hot you want to do one all about me. Well, uh, my name is Kylie Anua. I come from Broken Hill, Australia, and I'm a high school exchange student here in America. I know what you're thinking. I look great for 17, but I'm actually 35. Uh, well, I left school in year eight to have my daughter. How did you support your daughter at such a young age? Oh, the doll. I come from a long line of doll bludgers. My mom, my mum's mom. My mum has been such an inspiration to me. Loki, you better not eat all the bloody crisps. I want to have them with my beer later. But mom, I'm hungry. Just eat some bloody bread, you little dickhead. Mrs. Anua. Pay for anything. Mrs. Anua. Anyway. There's yes. never anything Tell to eat in this house. Tell us about how you got to the US. Mom. I'm... Shh. Mrs. Anua. <laughs> Mrs. Anua. Yes, Mom, yes, I'm here, I'm here. Tell us about how Kylie Mom. got to the U.S. Oh, oh, well, something. when I heard about this opportunity... Something. Eat some bloody bread! Any other questions? Because I really Mommy. gotta go. Hello? I've always wanted to come to America. People here are so nice. One day this guy came up to me, must have sensed I was a bit peckish, and he offered me a snack. And I even got a job offer on my first day. Excuse me, excuse me. You wanna make 200 bucks? I couldn't wait to have some real Mexican taco. Would you happen to know where Taco Bell is? No. I also made some really cool new friends. Everyone in this school arrived late to everything. I don't understand. Okay. Oh. That guy's looking at Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, You're well. like the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Yes. Are you a model? Duh. Cool. Scram. <laughs> ah. So, as I was saying, this is an age-old hey. American... Uh, you know, you're kind of hot. You want to go get a drink sometime? Oh. How does it feel to be like the hottest girl in school? Oh, and the, when I was born, the doctor hit on me. Ask the nurses. They were there. They're 103. They're senile as hell, but they still remember that. Mm -hmm. That is so shit hot. You know, I did some modeling too. <laughs> I did, uh, yeah, for our local op shop. I modeled in Australia, so I knew Kylie meant she modeled at her local thrift shop, which is perfect for someone like her. What I love about Kylie is that she knows her station in life, and I, on the other hand, know mine. I've graced the covers of over a hundred magazines, Harper's Bazaar. This bug is killing me. Can somebody get this bug out of here? Huh? Oh my god. What? It's my ex-boyfriend. Who's your ex-boyfriend? Oh, uh, the one over there who looks like Luke Perry. It was a horrible baker. He never forgave me for dumping him. Well, I gotta go, all right? Later, bitches. She doesn't want her lunch, I'll take it. Can't beat free food, right? Oh my gosh, here they come. Act normal. Cascade sure left in a hurry. Looks like she's still not over me yet. <laughs> oh well. Velma. You're looking uh, awful pretty today. Uh, I'm, I'm Kylie. I'm the exchange student from Australia. So, what do you smugs like to do for fun around here? Drink beer, chill. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, Velma? Maybe you ladies like to join us tonight. Oh, dude, we can't. We got that, that Luke Perry gig. I was Luke Perry standing on 90210. Now I do his appearances for him when he can't make it. People can't tell us apart. Oh, that's right. I'm his bodyguard. Gets pretty gnarly sometimes. Yeah, I mean, Kylie's great. She's beautiful. She's exotic. 
she's sweet, you know, she's got that great accent. She's definitely shit hot, no question, hot shit. Yeah. We can have dinner sometime now. I would love that. Maybe we could go to Taco Bell? Uh, Bill, I um, saw this and I, I thought of you. Okay. Bye. Velma, are you ever going to tell me the story behind the eye patch? When I met Kylie, I knew she was a special person and that she would be a good friend. See, I don't really have any friends because of the friends that I thought I had would ditch me at lunch and throw food at me and call me pirate names. So. That is so crazy, but how did... Who's your friend, eye patch girl? My name is Velma. This is Kylie. She's our Australian exchange student. Hiya, you thought look like you're going off to a fancy dress party. You guys look so shit hot. Who are they? Oh, those books? That we're not gonna do the reverse on. They're from the video production class over at Bull Heights Youth Center. They're doing a documentary on me. Really? Why, are you famous? No. I'm gonna be a famous makeup artist. Oh, are you going into special effects? Well, my dad was in the biz. He did craft service for all the cool shows, like Chips, Emergency, and Adam 12. When I was a kid, he would take me to all the sets, and I'd hang out in the trailer and get my makeup done. I learned so much. I have my own YouTube channel called Random. Revlon's called me to be a makeup consultant. <laughs> Britain and Georgia. They're my minions. We're actually minions for hire. We actually belong to an agency called Minions for Hire. MFH as it's known in the industry. I got into being a minion because even though I graduated from Harvard Business School in 2004, I can't find a job. The way the economy is anymore, the stock market crashing around 10,000 in 2010, has not recovered very well since. And I don't know what Santorini's talking about. I don't think Kylie's eyes are too small. I think she looks great. I'm a model slash actress. You've probably seen us around. We're only the hottest, most popular girls at Marshall High. Actually, I thought Cascade was the hottest girl in school. Cascade is the hottest girl in school. Well, we're the most popular, and popular is what matters most. <laughs> come have lunch with us, Kylie. I Patch can come too. They're gonna come too, right? Well, yeah, the, where I go, they go. <laughs> Fabulous. Move. Did I say sit? Sit. Eat. One of the reasons Revlon chose me is because I, I really try to focus on on everybody's good parts of their face and, you know, try to make them to look better and, and, and see what I can find on them. I'm sorry. You have nothing. But look at my minions. See what a fabulous job I've done? Let's look how beautiful they are. Now you, for instance, ooh, you have really small eyes. But a little eyeliner and take it out like this and that will spread your eyes apart and make your eyes look bigger and then you might be pretty. I'm gonna do your makeup. Class. Up. <laughs> Go. So FYI, Eric Estrada is signing his new cookbook at the mall. <laughs> do you want me to introduce you? Oh, Dinkum, I've never met a celeb before. Velma? I'm sorry, there's only five people can fit in the car. Well, that's great. I mean four. It's okay, Kylie, you go ahead. I have homework to do. But are you sure it's Eric Estrada? Yeah, I actually have a report too, so have fun. Come on, let's go to the mall and buy you something hot to wear. But we've got class right now. Well, it's Eric Estrada, seriously.
What would you say is the most important experience at an American high school that Kylie should take with her? Most popular? You have to be popular. If you're not popular, you're a social zero and you might as well just kill yourself. <laughs> Private conversation, minions. Oh, losers. Kylie, you need to dump eye patch and do it quick. But she's my friend. She's a social zero and so soon will you be if you don't ditch her and ditch her fast. But she's actually kind of cool. She looks like a goth punky breeze doll. She looks like a serial killer. I mean it. Get some new clothes and get some minions. Just pull out the credit card, do it. No, we knew is never spend our own money. In order to have a high social status and not go back to Australia as a big zero, you need to ditch her for a friend. You need to be popular. You need to get some minions and get your social status up or we can't hang out. <sighs> Fine. You can have my minions. They're losers, I'm tired of them anyway. Let's go to the mall and get you something decent to wear. Wait, one question. Do the minions do everything you say? Everything. <laughs> Let's go to the mall. I did. Santorini's been so great. She's done this complete makeover. She even took me to meet the cast of Saved by the Bell. You met the cast? Yeah. I know, and everyone says I look like Jesse Spano. Who's that? You don't know who Jesse Spano is? What's your favorite food? Your American food? Oh, Taco Bell. Is that American food? No, it's Mexican. Somebody just told me that I look like Jesse Spano. Ah. It was so, so shit hot. Ugh. Ah. I made you look much prettier than Jesse Spano. <laughs> oh. Hey, Kylie. Oh, hey, Velma. Come sit with us. Oh, well, actually, I gotta go, but I was wondering if you wanted to go to Taco Bell after school. Yeah, that'd be great. Good one, eye patch. <laughs> It'll be real easy to upchuck that shit, won't it, believe me, girl? But be careful, watch out for sharp objects. <laughs> you told her? I thought you were my friend! Oh, are you right? <laughs> now look what you've done. Seriously, how old are you? Grow up. Are you kidding me? You're the bitch, Sam. <gasps> are you gonna do anything? Say something. Oh, she's not really a bitch. No. Oh, God. You should be more appreciative. We made you over to look cool like us. And believe me, it wasn't easy. Well, you're not that cool, Sam. <gasps> and you know what? The 80s were like 30 years ago. And your makeup sucks. Yes, well, <laughs> Revlon would beg to differ. You do the same makeup on everyone. No, I don't. I do not. I do not. That's a bold face. You girls are real bitches. You know that? Right. I'm taking her to the nurse. I thought you were different. I think I was going to take you to Taco Bell. Really mucked up this time. This is even worse than the time I left my little brother in National Kakadu Park. It's like two weeks before I realized. I know you're mad at me and everything, but I just want to explain myself. I trust in you. I know, I know. Please give me a chance. I'm sorry, Velma. I'll let popularity get in the way of our friendship. I don't mean to, it's just, I've never been popular before. Kylie, you told them my secrets. 
I didn't mean to. They were saying things like that you went to the dunny a lot because you had diarrhea. And I said, no, she has an eating disorder and she was up chucking in there. And then they said that you wore that eye patch trying to be ironic. I said, no, she was just in the bathroom and she got dizzy and, and poked her eye out on the tampon box. How is that helpful? I'm sorry, I was trying to do the right thing. I know it was not the right thing. What I told you was in confidence. Santorini and her kind are, are the reason why I was bulimic in the first place. What's bulimia again? I trusted you. You were supposed to be my best friend. Oma. If you give me another chance, I will make it up to you, I promise. Please. I forgive you, Kylie. How could I not forgive her? She gave me one of her eyes. I had two of them. Besides, I gave her the one with the astigmatism. what it would be like to be the hottest girl in school, just for one day. <laughs> but you know, Kylie, you're really a man.